Well, satellite data is showing that the rate at which Himalayan glaciers are melting has doubled over the past two decades. That ice is not being replaced, and the retreat of these glaciers threatens water supplies for hundreds of millions of people across Asia. Well, to discuss this issue, let's talk now to Arun Shrestha, senior climate change specialist at the International Centre for Integrated Mountain Development, and he joins us from Kathmandu in Nepal. Well, thanks for taking time to speak to us here on the programme. Well, this is the third uh, such uh, strong sign there's been this week showing the devastating impact of climate change. How worrisome is this for you? Well, it is certainly very worrisome. Uh, and this is one of uh, several studies uh, showing that the Himalayan glaciers are retreating quite dramatically. Um, the difference is that this, uh, this report actually gives a very kind of science-based conclusive uh, you know, figure on how fast the glaciers are retreating. And as, as mentioned earlier, the number of people relying on, on water coming out of those glaciers are terribly high. Uh, this study has covered you know, uh, mainly three river basins, Indus, Ganges, and Brahmaputra, the upstream part of those three river basins. And these river basins are where quite a large number of people live. Around uh, 1 billion people live in those three river basins, which is about 13% of total global population. So the implication of ice loss and its impact on water is going to be quite, quite dramatic, quite serious. Well, if you outlined the uh, dangers there, if it dries up, and you know, can this be reversed at this stage? Well, it is all related to climate change. Uh, the level of warming happening in the Himalayas is quite dramatic as well. Uh, it has been around 0.2 degrees Celsius uh, uh, per decade uh, in last uh, 50 years, which is quite high number in terms of warming. So that's the main cause. And, and the reason behind is, is, uh, is the greenhouse gas emission. So the only way that can uh, uh, reduce uh, the rate of Himalayan ice loss is actually to you know, control climate change. And the way to do it is to control the greenhouse gas emission. Uh, having said that, it, it will not stop uh, the glacial uh, melt uh, and ice loss immediately. It will take time. Uh, but there is no other way than you know, reducing the emission. Reducing emissions as well as increasing awareness. Arun Shrestha from the International Centre for Integrated Mountain Development. Thanks for joining us here on the programme.